there's still plenty of time, but what an uphill climb they have. They do. Now, deficits of this nature have been overcome, but it doesn't happen often, and it usually starts in the first couple minutes of this fourth quarter. They've got to put a dent quickly into this lead. Up and in, what a play from Jimmy Butler. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Quarter jump shot, drains the three. He's two for three from beyond the arc. Sweet stroke on that shot, Mike. It looked good as soon as it left his hand. Ball loose again, here's a steal. From beyond the arc. Can't get it to go. The lead's still under double figures. Puts up another shot. Unable to flip it in. I really like that. That's good defense. Good, sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. Three-pointer. Won't go. Puts it in. And they extend the lead to double figures. You can get that shot at any time in a possession. You've got to find a way and run your offense and execute to get a better quality shot in a close game. Puts it in, plus the foul. That's a big time play right there. Finishing the shot through the contact and now goes to the free throw line. For Chicago. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. Hornis for another attempt. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a new 24. For two. For three. The Wizards with the offensive rebound for another possession. Hits the shot. And Jared Dudley with Everybody eight points. That's away. just a nice layup right there. Gets past the defense. Nice. Oh, the wind rocking slam from Jimmy Butler. Poster! Can't hit from three-point range. He's not a selfish player, but that was a selfish shot. To the basket, flips it up, puts it in. Four-point game. Two points. From three-point land, can't connect from way downtown. What's up with that shot? That's far too quick. It's a loose ball, and there's a steal. At the rim, can't bring it home. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look, he just missed it. Ball comes loose, reaches it for the steal. Getting to the basket, a pretty Euro step. Nails it. And Otto Porter with five points here in the fourth. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You gotta protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Miritich for two, puts it up, can't knock it down. Some might question that shot right there. I like that shot. You have a great player who's a great shooter. I like the creativity, he just missed it. Just on the way to the rim. The Bulls with control on the rebound. And that's his seventh rebound of the game. Dudley walks it across. And Washington's caught by the ref for an offensive foul. And we have a substitution here. Inside. There's the whistle, and Marquis Morris will get to shoot free throws for the first time in the game. Off the mark on the first free throw. Good bounce back, hitting the second free throw. He's one for two. Sometimes the simplest plays 
are the hardest ones to execute. Good lay. Goes to the reverse. That's good for two. And it's a seven-point lead for the Wizards. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. McDermott's looking to set up in the paint, and the ball is stolen. To the rim. Nice soft touch. Dribble penetration will always break down your defense. You've got to keep the ball out of the paint. You can't allow it right at the basket for easy shots. The two defenders swarm. Puts it up. Oh, what a move! Four two. The assist from number 22, Taj Gibson. Dudley fires for three. Bang! And Jared Dudley with five points here in the fourth quarter. Oh, that's a thing of beauty right there. Look at that balance, arc, and follow through. Let's it go. Can hit. Making the baseline move. Knocks it down. He's three for seven from the field. See, that's their problem there defensively. They're allowing the ball to get deep in the paint and right at the basket. You cannot defend like that and win basketball games. Gibson shot thrown right back at him. Nice job drawing the foul. It's called against Porter. That'll be his second personal. Team foul number two for the Chicago Bulls. Taj Gibson to the line, shooting two. Knocks down the first one. Two for two at the line. Wall for two. No good. That's just not good enough. That's too quick. He's a great shooter, but he's not a great shooter shooting low percentage shots. Can't get the layup to drop. Up and in from Jimmy Butler. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Wall. Misses it, and the lead still in single figures. That's a shooting turnover right there. You shot it too quick, had no chance of going in. That's just like a turnover. Throws it down. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Goes for the long pass. Beal from downtown and hits the three. And John Wall, with the assist, gets himself a double-double. Made the most of his opportunity, and he knocked it in. Three ball. To the rim. There's a foul. It's called against the Wizards. Third team foul. And finally, he'll get a chance to go to the free throw line tonight. That was a tough situation right there. Do you let him shoot the easy basket, or do you foul a good free throw shooter late in the game? I think they made a good play, and even though he's a good free throw shooter, make him earn it at the line. Wall from downtown, the off-balanced attempt. Won't go for three. Knocks it down. That's a two-pointer. Nine-point lead for Washington. He's a great shooter, but he could have driven the ball into the paint and made a play for his teammates. Gibson against Gortat. Gibson fires away for two. Can't get it to go down. Morris the jumper. And Robin Lopez with his 18th rebound. for two unable to flip it in another good offensive possession unfortunately missed the shot Gortat 
The Wizards with the offensive rebound to keep it alive. Off the mark, quite can't get that double-digit lead. It's all about making your teammates better. And the way you make them better is to give up a good shot to try to create a great shot. It's out of bounds. It'll be Bulls ball. Lopez fires away. Lopez in shot, misses for two. For the layup, gets it to go. And Otto Porter with seven points here in the fourth. If that's the best he can do as a defender, then he has to come out and sit next to me as the coach. You've got to keep the ball handler out on the perimeter and make him take jump shots. Wide open for three. Can't connect from long range. If they can continue to create the same shots offensively here in the second half, they're going to end up winning the game. Goes out of bounds, so it'll be Bulls ball. And the Chicago Bulls making a change here, switching their small forwards.
Lopez for two, shoots away. He puts it in. Hey, sometimes good offense beats good defense. There's nothing to be ashamed with on that possession. That was a well-defended, well-contested shot. Can't connect, and the lead still in single digits. That's too early of a shot in this close game. If I'm his coach, I've got to convince him that I'll bring the ball back to him and get him a better quality shot than the one he just took. Wow, he's open. It's good. They played well the entire night at the offensive end of the floor. They've moved the ball well, and they continue to generate quality shots. Fires away for two. Nails it. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Unable to convert the three. You've got to figure out how you can get a better quality shot and use your greatness to attract the second defender and find the open man. Rebounded by Gortat. Gets it off. Can't hit the two. Hey, that shot right there is exactly the type of shot you have to force if you're the defensive team trying to work your way back into the game. Wide open. That's a three. McDermott with the touch. Puts it in. The hardest thing to do in the NBA in the last two minutes of a game is get an open shot. They did it, and they knocked the ball right down the middle of the hole. Walls unable to hit the three. You can get that shot at any time in a possession. You've got to find a way and run your offense and execute to get a better quality shot in a close game. Chicago's 8 for 12 from the line here tonight. First free throw, good. And he makes them both. it up for three can't hit from beyond the arc to allow a team back in the game is to take poor shot not only do you miss but it saps your energy defensively to the rim can't finish what separates teams late in this league is guys who can finish plays at the basket fires away misses the shot against Porter. And Robin Lopez will go to the line with under a minute to go here on the fourth. Down two with a minute to go. You've got to knock in both of these free throws and get it tied. First free throw, perfect. Clutch free throw shooting and the game is tied. Gets a good look. Jumper off the mark that time. the drive won't go the shot is blocked that kind of play Mike makes a statement just a few minutes ago now the home team has made a huge dramatic comeback and have the lead in the last two minutes of the game those fans that left early are like the Miami fans in the finals trying to get back into the arena not going to happen This one is in the books. The final score is 129 to 127 for Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA. Caitlin Rose here, and I've got your EA Sports post-game wrap-up.